Alright, hello again friends and fans, Raptor here, and welcome back to Riot Civil Unrest. There's a little trouble in town here today as we're trying to open up uh, Wendy's and Arby's, and these vegans don't want us to do it, so... Uh-oh, looks like they're communicating. Oh no, they're very upset. Welcome back everyone, good to have you here. As we're playing with the police today, we're gonna have some armored vehicles and some water cannons and more in order to push the hordes back who are resisting the advance of Wendy's, McDonald's, Burger King. We've gotta open up some more fast food restaurants, they don't want it. So we're going to bring it to them. All right, welcome back, everyone. Obviously, that's not the story, but in order to have some fun and not have people get all upset over real-life events, we're just going to throw that spin on it. So let's go ahead and fire uh, some smoke rounds into the crowd to back these po uh, people up. There we go. And that should uh, help out a little bit. And we need to capture the square, clear the square here. I think we're going to be building the uh, Wendy's right in the center here. So let's go ahead and uh, push forward then. Look at all those people roll. Uh, let's see if we can cut the crowd in two, get our uh, unit here into uh, arrow formation in order to uh, destroy their archers, I think. And let's push forward. All right, we'll take the top and bottom to cut the crowd, and then we'll use crowd control uh, units on the south and uh, in between. Oh, there we go. Oh, ooh, ooh, look at that. They're pushing forward. They don't like it. All right, back, hippies. Get back. Fire around there into the crowd. Again, this is smoke. We're not looking to cause any sort of violence. We're just trying to cut down the crowd here. Oh, perfect. Look at that. All right, we've... Moved. We've uh, separated the northern section. Southern section's going well. All right, let's bring our boys right into the center of the square. And let's continue to push them back. Get back, everyone. Get back now. Ma'am? Sir? Okay. Everyone everyone back. All right. Fire another round there. I think that's the smell of the french fries. Really scares them off. Oh, yep. They're angry. Look at that. They're trying to close in on the square again. All right. Let's clean out the rest of these crowds. Just towards the middle. All right. Let's go into a uh, line formation to keep the masses back. And we should be able to do that. This game is incredible, by the way. Should be available now on PC again. Uh, Riot Civil Unrest with the ability to play as the police or the rebels. I find the police to be more interesting just because they get more tactics for formations. They get armored vehicles and smoke grenades and other things. But also playing as the resistance forces uh, in real-life events is rather interesting, too. Uh, real-life uh, protests and things like that. And uh, even a Steam Workshop uh, in order to uh, you know recreate uh, events of uh, today. All right, there we are. Let's push forward then. Got to keep the uh, square open. There we go. We're just kind of getting people out of here, keeping them back. Let's fire some smoke grenades to the north. One problem is every once in a while you go to fire, like, the GP25 smoke grenade. You fire, and it's just a misfire. It doesn't actually fire, so we won't be able to get those people there. But our goal here is to keep the center of the square clear and keep our uh, police in the center in order to show uh, have a show of force here. And we're in def defensive stance here, defending the uh, grenade launchers. Let's fire a grenade again. And another misfire. What the hell? <laughs> anyway, we've cleared the area. Excellent work, officers. And minimal uh, damage to property and to uh, people's bodies, I suppose, as we just kind of push them out of the way. As you can see there, property damage was uh, pretty minimal, but a staggering police victory. Excellent. No arrests or anything like that, but really well done. All right, on to the next one. Here we go. I think this time we're going to get some uh, police vehicles. All right. The uh, chairman of McDonald's is about to speak. Profits. Yes, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's more important than the people. All right, so again, a little bit of uh, anger. Oh, no, somebody's burning. Oh, no! That was uh, Wendy's merchandise. How dare they? Oh, oh. Ooh. All right, the police are sent in again in order to control the crowds. Of course, this was uh, part of a uh, rather uh, peaceful movement in Spain. You'll have to read more about that and get the game yourself to know, but... Oh, my God. They're burning a bunch of Happy Meal toys. Oh, to hell with that. Ronald McDonald's going to be mad. All right. Let's send up uh, our squads here. Let's get everyone into a line formation. It looks like they're about ready to attack. Let's get the lines ready to go. I right, push them back. What do we got here? Rubber ammo? Okay, we don't want to use that too much, but we can try a uh, flashbang. Let's go ahead and throw that into the crowd. Oh, it was a smoke grenade. Never mind. Let's have our officers push forward. Get some more uh, smoke grenades going into the crowd. All right. Bringing up the party mobile now. All right, we're holding the line rather well. All right, get some more, more smoke there. It really helps the crowds to disperse, and it makes it easier for the officers to control. That looks so cool. Look at that. The fact that you get to use tactics like that in order to clear out the roads, really neat. Another smoke grenade in the center. Delivery of french fries is trying to come through here. 
We got frozen patties and burgers on board. Seriously, you can make any sort of scenarios that you want. So this could be a realistic situation. Black Friday sales, uh, protests over uh, pipelines and things like that you've seen in the workshop before. Really cool. Looks like someone threw that grenade right into the tree. Uh-oh. Luckily, our officers have uh, masks on, so we should be good. Right, let's bring up those cars a little further. A little intimidation factor showing the rebels that we are uh, advancing. A couple of smoke grenades to get that crowd further back so the officers don't have to do much. As you can see up top, we're being uh, passive as much as we can, and the crowd appears to be provoking. And a lot of them don't, don't want to go back here. All right, we just got to push them to the end of the road. Job well done. Our units are kind of clashing with protesters that don't want to retreat there. Let's run another smoke grenade up there. Looks like they're being held in the south. And our unit there is advancing. A couple of protesters caught between the police and the barricade at the top. A couple of people making their way through. Not, not a problem if one or two people escapes. Not a problem at all. All right, this should be it for the grand opening of the first uh, Wendy's in Barcelona. <laughs> all right, let's see here. All right, our troops are as far to the edge as they can be, so we just got to hold them now. All right, and then, of course, uh, you know, at the start of each uh, battle, you also have the ability to equip your units differently, bring different types. So if you want to do nothing but riot police uh, with shields, you can do that, or more grenade launchers or whatever you want. Uh, the grenade launchers are uh, very much more effective uh, because you can really cut up those crowds into smaller, uh, more manageable groups and then just kind of push them out of the way. Uh, you can totally do this game peacefully. There's no need for violence. You kind of just, you know, push forward and kind of convince people to leave by just kind of pushing them a little bit. That's certainly a lot better than being shot by a rubber bullet. That would be a no bueno in my situation. All right, it looks like uh, we're about to win this one. About 15 seconds left. We pushed them pretty much out of the entire area. There's nobody left. A couple of flags on the ground and lots of trash. Wow, that car is just destroyed. Actually, oh, it's a Mini Cooper with the British flag on it. I thought it was blood. All right, area successfully cleared. All right, let's move on to the next one then. And we'll see exactly uh, what we're going to do next. Maybe we should see some water cannons, some big buses, push the crowds even more. Look at that. 100% military result. Really? Military result? Hmm. Oh, well, it says we were uh, moved cautiously and everyone was peaceful, so it couldn't get much better than that. Very nice. On to the next one. Let's go to Greece now. Speaking of fast food. All right, on to Greece. For several years, the Greek government uh, was planning to build a huge Wendy's six kilometers away from uh, Veganville, a small town southeast of blah, 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 blah. All right, cool. Let's see what we can do here. Again, you can play this game any way you want by being the rebels or whatnot. I think we can do a little editing here. And I think with these units are good, though. Uh, we'll just go with what we got, and uh, then we can uh, up the difficulty here. All right, here we go. Small town... Uh, feel here. Looks like the uh, resistance forces. What they're really protesting against is a giant junkyard, and they don't want it in their town, and uh, the Greek government's just like, no, you're getting the junkyard. And this happened. <laughs> oh boy. There you go. Looking, look, looking like they're going to build something here. Nice officer. Did you see what he did there? That was nice. All right, we got to clear the road. Let's get to it then. Ooh, they're throwing the Molotovs. Whoa, you guys are violent. I just got here. I, I thought we were going to talk this out. Okay, well, I guess we'll just go into riot police formation then. Let's go with a couple arrow formations with our uh, assault groups. And we'll bring up the vans. And let's fire a couple of rounds of what seems to be smoke grenade launcher. Fire. And it seems like we also have a... I... Poli Police Greek Gear Weapon SG Spray. That must be a coating thing. All right, back it up now. Oh, it's like a, it's like a pepper, a giant launched pepper spray. Whoa, not at our officers. Oh, it could be directioned. Whoa. Oh, wow, that that clears out a huge area. Luckily, all of our officers have uh, gas masks, so no effect really. Otherwise, they'd be running. Let's us advance under a cloud. Oh, good. Now, now all the crowds are in the perfect position. All right, let's bring up the uh, buses with the workers in it. We're going to start their first day at the uh, the Arby's, the Wendy's, the Taco Bell. What have you. We need to push through. All right, out of the way, folks. Sorry. Right. Just got to get these folks to work. 
Pardon me. Excuse me. Focus, if you could go ahead and back it up, that'd be greatly appreciated. Ma'am? Okay, you're not. Alright. Alright, let's dump some huge pepper spray. Look at that. Oh, it actually follows you for a little bit. Ah, so it's a timed weapon. Wow, look at that huge dispersal. That is crazy. Alright, defensive line. Alright, let's push those buses forward. And let's get that assault team up. They're just basically armed with like tiny shields and clubs just to kind of, eh, more of an intimidation factor. But the shields really do the pushing. Okay, this one's going to be over quick. All right, we're pretty much there. A lot of people at the bottom. All right, beep, beep, coming through. All right, we pretty much made it. Are these people just going to sit down there? Hold on, let's fire some grenades down there. Folks, you want to back it up, please? Trying to get these people to work. Oh, they're going the opposite way. All right, well, I'm going to get down there with my uh, spray launcher. Oh, look, rebels have been pushed out. All right, let's hit them with the... People, back it up, back it up now. Get out of here. There we go. That's like bear mace or something. Sir? Wow, he just like walked right out in front of that. Yeah, not too bad. Like literally no damage. It couldn't have gotten any easier than that. Alright, let's move on to the next one. I think we're going to see some water cannons now. That's going to be real cool. Oh god, you know how it is when you got to work up at like, uh, or wake up for work at like 5 a.m.? Work up, yeah. Work up a, a sweat. You know, when you have to like uh, eat breakfast. Oh, so troublesome. Okay. All right, looks like our uh, army has arrived. They're making their way up the mountain. Oh, I think this is where we're building the Arby's. Excellent. <laughs> Everybody's tired out, yes. Uh, it's been several days. That was it? Oh, it's raining. Uh-oh. I don't know if that's military or if that's a police officer. It looks like he's got a badge on, so I'm assuming it's police. And there they are. I see the water cannon truck. All right, looks like we got to hold the top of the hill. Oh, they're attacking. Oh, they don't want this up here. All right, we got to hold the line. All right, the defense begins. Back it up, folks. Back it up. Fire that grenade launcher. Oh, what is this? Smoke grenade launch. Okay, fire that smoke. All right, hold the line here. Let's get uh, into a line formation. We'll do a general blocking. And then we'll have these guys on the flanks. Bring up the water truck here. All right, back it up, hippies. Back it up. Get back now. Come on now. There we go. Uh, uh. There we go. Hey, 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 hey. Get away from the truck. This is expensive. All right, let's hit these guys with a grenade launcher. Apparently too far again. That's got to be fixed. Because to be able to fire that smoke launcher is important. It has a long cooldown. It's a very powerful weapon. It needs to be used properly. All right, looks like we can switch these guys around. Oh, here comes the crowd. All right, get ready with the sprayer. Oh, no, you don't. Back it up, hippies. Back it up. There it goes. Come on, McDonald's is good. You know you want it. We're just hitting them with that uh, Thousand Island sauce that goes on top of that Big Mac. They're being knocked out with flavor. Mm. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's fire another grenade around. There we go. Now it works. All right. Back it up now. Back it up. There we go. Well, that's going really well. Alright, we're provoking right now. I guess we're being a little aggressive with the with the gun, with the uh, hose, but it's so fun. Alright, we just gotta hold for another two minutes. We should be fine. If we leave the circle, they're gonna win, so we just gotta keep a big group of them back. A lot of them are just too afraid to attack. I don't blame them. We got grenade launchers, and here they come again. Grenade launcher misfire. That means we gotta go for the hose. 
First bath these people have had all day. Ah, now, stay back, folks. Stay back. The rest of our security team is guarding the truck, so they can't do any damage to it. Oh, they're just getting mad at how, how we're hosing them down. All right, push it up. Okay. Looks like we're good. Uh, let's fire down here. There we go. That'll protect the southern section, and then uh, all we got to do is kind of just hang out here. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Get out of the circle. Push them out of here. Oh, they're attacking. Oh, they're coming from the south. Oh, they're okay. We got them. All right, almost time for some more grenades. Let's... Oh, no, 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 no. Back it up. Back it up. They're getting awfully close. Okay, we're going to need another round down here. God, another misfire with that gun. I don't know why it does that. Hopefully the developer upon release fixes that. Because then you got to wait for this cooldown every time. All right, 30 seconds and we've won. There's a lot of people here. All right, we got to just hold in the circle. I want to push them away, but if we leave, our men need to return. There we go. Fire that smoke around over there. Actually, yeah, that'll get them to run left, and then we can get behind them and push left. Perfect. All right, push them left. There we go. Hose truck is set. Unfortunately, we can't, like, tell the truck to go down here and push forward. It has to stay up at the top. But, regardless, we got them. Area successfully defended. Well, well. I think we need to go into the final battle then. There's one a final round where we need to uh, clear a mining camp with uh, a little bit of, uh, little bit of uh, rubber bullets. So that might be interesting. We'll see what seems to be an actual battle going on, like military force, next. Here we go. All right, this is it, the final battle. We need to push all these uh, enemies or uh, protesters or rioters, whatever you want to call them, out of an area that is a mining town back in Spain we go. They're causing trouble, and we got to uh, push them out. So we'll see how that goes. I got uh, rubber bullets this time and some grenade launchers, so that should do us well. I love the art style in this game. It's just so unique and different. Everything's highly pixelated and just, like, difficult to see, but it's so cool. I love it. All right, Policia are here, and they're getting out. And this is going to be a big battle. They're occupying this mine. What was that, an AT launcher? It looked like a potato potato gun. Almost looks like they had an HEGM. All right, let the battle begin. It's like a military-style battle. That's why the police are more interesting. All right, we do have uh, grenade launchers, smoke grenade launchers. We're going to back up the crowd with. Still the same problem again with the uh, failure to launch the grenades. I don't understand that. And a lot of them are uh, rubber rounds. There we go, there goes one. Right, let's push forward with grenades. We're firing rubber bullets now. This isn't hurting anybody. We have to take this position no matter what. We really don't have... We do not get forces to push with shields in this mission, so you just... You've got to push in with what you got, and that's basically guns and grenades, so it's hard to be uh, non-violent when that's the case. Push it forward, boys. No one retreats. There we go. Push them forward. Come on, everybody on the line. Smoke grenade teams, clear it. They do have the ability to somewhat attack with the butt of their rifle and such, but... The time for diplomacy is over. There we go. Control over half the map now. Fire some more rubber bullets. More smoke. Should be a live uh, flashbang there. And a smoke round to go with it. Nope. Looks like another misfire. Ah, uh, what was that? That was weird. The troops like fired in reverse and then retreated. Okay. Alright, though we are being quite violent here, I think this mission calls for it much you can do otherwise. But I tried to be non-violent with the smoke rounds, but it looks like for the most part the crowd is under control. 
Looks like we pushed them out of the area. A few uh, protesters left behind us, but... Wow, there's explosives sitting there. You see that? There's like a little wagon <laughs> with explosives for the coal mine, apparently. All right, their forces have been completely pushed back. They've got a few troops out there. I wonder if we're going to hit them with a grenade launcher just to uh, get them to disperse. Apparently that's an officer out there, or is that a rioter who somehow captured a police shield? And that should get them to run towards the left side. These officers can really chuck these grenades. These aren't the lightest things in the world to throw. And we're not necessarily being violent. No one's being hurt by those. They're just totally frightened. It's a scary thing, those grenades. It's what it's meant to do. That should be a smoke grenade, I believe. Oh, well, we've got them pretty much pinned all the way in the factory. Alright, looks like, uh, yeah, whoever remains is trying to rush the line from behind. They're throwing rocks and whatnot, but our officers have some shields on them. Some, uh, plastic armor and some defenses. Trying to keep the, those behind us uh, out of the fight. Trying to attack the officers from behind. All right, we're holding the line. A minute and 33 seconds. Uh, I think we've won this one. We've got them all the way to the wall. Uh, multiple police vans and such on here. But uh, no real problems. Just a few uh, people behind us. Hopefully they go left. Oh, finally, a grenade being thrown. About six months too late, man, but all right. Didn't even touch any of the controls on that one. All right, let's, uh... I don't know if we can go back to being non-violent by not attacking. We're just kind of staying here. We're, we're not really doing anything violent now. But I, I suppose once you've uh, surpassed a certain uh, time frame, it's only uh, going to be violent from there on out. Police are winning the battle, though. Rioters are winning political favor. Oh, that's all right. This is the final mission, though, for the uh, Spanish campaign. So I suppose you can do the, the last mission however you'd like. Oh, look at that. Coming in and hitting an officer. Let's go down here and see if we can push them back to the left. I can't see behind that building, so I don't know where they are. Or if there's more of them. Oh, there they go. That's just like maybe five or six people there. Too bad we don't have another squad to get them. But we're, we've held the line forward. Ten seconds remain. And then the police have won. So we've seen uh, quite a few different pieces of technology here. A previous episode we showed a battle tank. But uh, we were able to see water cannons, buses, and uh, police vans, SWAT teams, elite uh, groups and such. Rubber bullets. All cleared out the, uh, the mine there. So now the Wendy's can be opened. Uh, rebels killed two. What? Two people were killed? Wow, that's unfortunate. Everything's under control, though. I don't think we uh, could have killed anybody with rubber bullets. I suppose there is the potential for that, but there you go. But regardless, we won uh, completely... Uh, mi look at that. Mild acts of violence and uh, two people dead. Wow. All right, then. Okay, well, let's see here. Let's uh, go back and take a look. If you're interested in this game, again, uh, Riot uh, Civil Unrest available now with uh, four different campaigns to play from, uh, with four different missions for each side. So that's, uh, you know, one for the rebels, one for the police. So that's uh, four times four for the total t uh, number of missions, plus a global mode, a versus mode, where you can go against your friends, and then, of course, even the Steam Workshop, where you can play some uh, more modern uh, campaigns that people are creating. Perhaps uh, maybe we'll even go back into the, the 50s for different types of uprisings and things. Um, in the Soviet bloc or whatnot. But anyway, that's my time for today. If you guys like this and would like to see more, make sure you click or tap that like button. Maybe I'll come back and play as the uh, Rioters someday. They're a lot of fun to play as, too. Uh, but we'll see with your support. So thanks, as always, everybody, for tuning in. And I'll see you all next time. Thanks, everybody. Goodbye. Take care. We'll see you soon.